Now, distinguished guests in this occasion, Ray Burdis, film producer, you know, media man. I mean, obviously, we should say you're the guy behind the movie The Craze, yeah? That's right, yeah. And I understand you're also making a movie about um, Tony, who we spoke to earlier, and Paul, Paul Ferris, yeah? That's right, yeah, I make the film called The Wee Man. Right. Um, and it's based on the, the, the life of Paul Ferris. Yeah. And we're, we're shooting that at the moment for right. a little studio. Right. Um, but it's through Paul, I've got to know the story about Kevin. Sure. And, um, you know, I've, I've grown up, we've all grown up the same way on the streets and whatever, but the one thing I can't stand is when there's um, an essence of police corruption and stitching people up, I think it's so wrong. Yeah. Um, especially when a guy's done 16 years yeah. and he's innocent. Um, I think when I finish the film The Wee Man about Paul Ferris, perhaps there's a film in this, because I think it's a travesty of justice. Sure. Uh, the evidence is all there, um, and something needs to be done about it, you know. I mean, you know, I'm a South London lad, a lot of the guys here are East End lads, but I mean, the common ground is we've all grown up in the streets, you know, some of my mates ended up on the wrong side, some done well. But at the end of the day, I mean, I've been stunned how this appears to be a much bigger problem than any of us were aware of. Certainly, you know, this query or this lack of evidence being brought to court or the, the old adage, you know, I know loads of police officers, I played rugby, you know, I know loads. But I mean, the actual thing of evidence being dismissed, and in Kevin Lane's case, you know, the, the policeman who actually ended up inside for, you know, for corruption and yeah, stuff. I, I, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, you know it, it, it's remarkable. And uh, I don't know why more people don't know about this case. Look, we all know all the police are not corrupt. Mm. You know, 99.9 yeah, of, of them do a fantastic job, yeah. or whatever. So I'm not one to attack the police. No. But individuals that, that do this sort of, well, it's crime sure. um, to put people away. Uh, I just think it needs to be brought to bear. Yeah. And people should know about it. You know, it's, it's not a vendetta. We haven't got a vendetta, but there's someone sitting in prison. For 16 years, yes, uh, and they're innocent. Yeah. I mean, it's just outrageous. And apparently, the one of the other problems is with all these legal cutbacks and the um, the sheer time it takes to get these appeals actually back in front of the court. Is it's taking ages? It's and just mind-boggling. The whole yeah. thing is mind-boggling. It just sniffs to me of you know cover up and you know let's not get some more bad PR and bad press for the police force. You know, we all know they've got a job to do, but I just find it, I don't know, there's a guy's life at stake here. Sure. Um, I mean, it's, it's really, I suppose, the essence of this is fast-tracking it all. Once there, you know, there is doubt, so there is a problem, somehow it's all got to be fast-tracked and move a lot quicker, hasn't it, to get these guys out. Well, you and I would say yes. Yeah. Who, who is the one that says, OK, let's fast-track this? Yeah. It's, um, it's scary, and, I'm, you know, I'm, any one of us could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, yeah. it, it, well, so again, it's frightening. And what, what do you think is the answer? Is there an immediate answer? I mean, obviously things like today and the awareness, the media awareness, are obviously all going to help, because more and more people will be asking the questions about it. So, I mean, do you have any other ideas? I mean, no, I think um, the media is, is the way forward uh, yeah. to make people aware of what's going on. Um, and, you know, what can you do? I mean. There's, it's not only Kevin Lane's problem, no, there's an course. awful lot of people inside that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Um, I really, really don't know, but I just think things like, you know, making films about Paul and just sort of letting people be aware of why people uh, do what they do or, you know, I don't know. Um, well, I think, you know, from the outside looking in and working on the edges of the media world and PR myself, I mean, it's great that guys, you know, in your, your sort of role in life and how you can obviously put that, you can bring this case to the, to the attention of people through a movie or a book or something like that. That's what probably brings a, a more, a quicker reading of the whole thing, isn't it? More people probably become aware of that than anything, I, I think guess. I think the key is to make people aware. Yeah. And, um, you know, I wouldn't be here if I honestly didn't believe that this guy is innocent. I would sure. not be here. I'd be at home having my Sunday lunch. Yeah. Um, it's got to be looked at. It's, yeah. You know, people have got to be made aware of what's going on. We're the minority. Minority of the police. Yeah. You know, uh, I think they do a good job, but in this case, not. Sure. And going back to your movie then, The Wee Man, when can we expect to see that on the screen? Yeah, we're, well, we're shooting it at the moment. Yeah. Um, we, uh, well, here's a story, you know. I wanted to shoot it in Glasgow, oh, yeah. um, 
We went up there, we done recce, we done castings, we got locations and sets, and the Strathclyde police recommended that we don't shoot it uh, in Glasgow because they can't protect us. I don't know what that's all about. Um, and they just and the council uh, yeah. recommend that we do not film this film up there. So what they've done, they've lost millions of pounds worth of revenue that we would have brought into the area. Yeah. Hundreds of people being employed locally. Yeah. Uh, they've blown it. I'm shooting it in boat in East London. You know, work that one out. It's crazy. <laughs> so you found a lot of people with Glaswegian accents every day. We've had to find a lot of people with Glaswegian accents, but we're <laughs> yeah. importing an awful lot of people down from yeah. Scotland. Well, we wish you all the luck with the movie, yeah. and thanks for oh, what you're doing for occasions like this, because yeah, no, that's I what brings it the attention, and uh, I suppose we all look forward to seeing the next one, and hopefully maybe even one about Kevin. Well, you never know. You no. never know. Okay. Cheers. Thanks a lot, Ray. Bye, mate. Thank you.